The Zoos Organic Project is concerned with the improvement of processing performance. The main processes that we are working on is drying and cooling and so-called super chilling. We have chosen these two topics because they are very energy intensive and they are two of the main means of increasing shelf life of organically produced products. What we have found so far is that super chilling works very well for the fish. So the advantage of super chilling in fish is if you use this method where you basically freeze the upper or the outer three millimeters of the product, you do not need ice anymore to keep the, the fish cold, which means you have around 30% less transport volume and 30% less transport weight which has a huge impact on the sustainability of the whole process. Super chilling has not been used in the organic sector at all so far. Our Norwegian partners are now looking at the impact on organically grown salmon. What you can see is that super chilling works for organic salmon very well and it complies with the rules of uh, organic agriculture. The producers of herbs, particularly for the Demeter sector, are facing a situation where the microbial counts are coming very close to the legal limit. For Demeter quality you are not allowed to dry at temperatures higher than 40 degrees. Many of the producers dry between 30-35 degrees and these also are optimum conditions for microbial growth. One solution that is fairly easy to implement is literally buying a bigger fan. Which means, yes, more electricity, but for a shorter amount of time, you will be able to reduce this problem. The big problem that many of the producers have at the moment is they produce so-called bitter hops for about 30 years and nothing else because the mass market that was there didn't demand having aromatic hops for the production of the beers. The, the active chemical components of bitter hops are fairly thermostable. So you can use high temperatures, you can have longish um, drying times, but aromas are volatile. So that means they will evaporate and the degree of evaporation depends on how well you set the processing settings. And we have been working with the hop producers in Austria, Germany and in Alsace and we have gained very promising results for improvement of the, the overall um, system performance but also for the overall quality of the hops.